Welcome back. So it looks a little gloomy out there. You know? Oh, yeah. But uh, hopefully some sunshine will come out. I don't know. We're trying to get toward a better <laughs> forecast for the weekend. But, yeah, today it uh, looks like we're going to have to fight yeah. against that gray sky a little bit. And we're tracking those showers as they move across the area here on this Thursday. And looking at the temperatures to start out, well, we're still on the warm, even just comfortable side of things for the most part, especially down into D.C., Chantilly, and Germantown as well, where we're in the low to mid 60s. It's been dry down across much of central Maryland and into parts of northern Virginia, hence why the temperatures are a little bit warmer. But to the north and west, there has been some rainfall through Chambersburg all the way down to Winchester and back across the Allegheny Highlands. And so temperatures a little bit cooler, mostly in the lower to middle 50s. Now, everywhere we have this southerly wind kicking up as we continue to see some of that warmer air try to move in with all of this rain crossing the area up to 14 miles an hour in Hagerstown and Leesburg, 23 in Kaiser with that wind speed, 15 in Frederick. So it's going to be occasionally breezy at about 10 to 20 miles an hour as some of this precipitation moves through. There's a good look at it. That rain continuing to cross the mountains over toward I-81, where there's a line crossing from Leesburg back up toward Frederick now. But look at how thin that line of rainfall is, and it's dissipating. So we are going to see some of this rain continue to push off to the east. But for the most part, it's already starting to weaken, and those showers are going to become very, very spotty as they move closer to the Chesapeake Bay. So as we move along with time, we're going to see those showers become less and less of a nuisance. We could very easily see some light rain, just enough to make it damp out there, but it's not going to be anything significant to the east of I-81. And then this weekend, the forecast is still looking downright amazing with a lot of sunshine, warmer temperatures that will end up peaking in the 80s, Sunday into Monday, before we do look at a cool down by the middle of next week. There's that broken line of showers. Again, it's already crossing I-81, so it's a little bit ahead of the pace here on Future Tracker, but notice how it starts to become a broken line of showers. Still, though, likely bringing a little bit of precip down toward the D.C. Metro, enough again to make the pavements and some of those walkways damp out there. And then the precipitation will be gone. We're going to see that sky clear out nicely as we go into the day on Friday for a pretty gorgeous last day of the work week. Now, temperature wise, we already noticed the divide that is set up out there because of the rainfall will hold to that upper 50s to the north and west into the middle and upper 60s down to the south and east the rest of the day today. And even with the cl uh, clouds clearing out here tonight, we are going to see those readings remain in the upper 40s to lower 50s. So still very much on the mild side of things before we roll into Friday and those temperatures get even warmer still into the low and middle 70s, turning out to be, like I said, a fantastic end to the work week and we'll have very similar conditions Sunday. There's those 80s on Sunday, a perfect weekend to get out and about and our next rain chance will not be arriving then until next Tuesday.